Uh, what's good about bar chart too, it shows you the 52 week performance. So if you were to invest in any one of these ETFs, like the IWM, for instance, the Russell 2000, you would have made 92% on your money passively, just putting your money in this ETF. So what is an ETF? I know Patrick described it in a lot of details earlier. I think a picture is worth a thousand words. So let me show you how you see or know what's in an actual ETF. One of the most popular ETFs I'm sure you guys heard of is the QQQ. And so if I wanted to see what stocks make up this ETF, all I would do on bar chart is click on QQQ. And then once I'm in bar chart, I would go below to constituents. Constituents is just a big word that means what are the underlying stocks that make up an ETF? It's called the constituents, right? So once you click on the constituents, it clearly shows you everything that's in the QQQ and the percentage of that particular stock that makes up the QQQ. So when you buy the QQQ, you buy an all of these stocks, you buy an Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Tesla, Alphabet, you get the picture. Even one of my faves, NVIDIA, PayPal, another one of my faves in uh, Adobe, Netflix. Netflix. I have a lot of money uh, in Netflix um, and so forth. T-Mobile, Costco, Qualcomm, Starbucks, you name it. You buy Amax. all of these companies in one batch when you buy one ETF. And guess how much it costs you to get all of those companies? Only $342. Do you know how much Netflix alone trade for? Like 550 bucks around that range. Tesla, over $700. You can get all of these companies for $342 and you will own, in the case of Netflix, 1.85% of it, but it's better than owning none of it. You will own 4.38% of Tesla and 11.27% of Apple. So that's what make ETFs such a great deal, you get for one low price to buy a whole basket of stocks and you get diversification. Not only do you have tech here, and there is some tech, but you will see, um, well, I guess you will see Moderna. You wouldn't think Moderna is tech, but Moderna is, is tech. You have Monster Beverage beverage. You would think that wouldn't be Dr. Pepper. Heinz, would you think Heinz would be in the QQQ? Oh yeah, you're buying Heinz. Marriott, you wouldn't think you're buying a hotel conglomerate. Walgreens, so Ross, who shops at Ross and floss the nice polo, but get it. It, get it for a half of the price. So again, you get great diversification and one low price. So that's that's how you see uh, what the, constitu the constituents are in a particular ETF. And so we can go back. Let's just hit the back button. As a matter of fact, let me just go to the top so that you can see it again. So you go ETFs, most popular ETFs come down. Let's this time, instead of doing the QQQ, let's look at the SPY, which is the S&P 500 Spider. These are the most popular big companies in the United States Stock Exchange. So you click there to get in the Spider. You can see the chart just on the small chart view that it has great growth over time. 
This is a five-year chart. I'm clicked here on five-year. You can see the growth. Uh, if and, and let's let's just go back and look at the QQQ for instance, and look at that chart. By the way, I didn't pay. Look at that chart. Is that chart beautiful? That's a beautiful chart. If you look at like 2016, QQQ was 106. The beautiful thing about a chart is, is you see the past in one shot. You can see what the stock was in 2016. And then you can look today and see what it is. 106, five years, 342 now. But let me go back to the SPY because that kind of jumped off jumped out of there. So, and then let's go to the constituents. So here are the constituents of the S&P 500. So when you're at S&P 500, you still get an Apple, you still get a Microsoft, Amazon, and all of these companies in one shebang. You actually get Home Depot, you get the idea and others. So, one could go and look at the most popular ETFs, look at the constituents for those ETFs to understand what underlying stocks you're purchasing for one low price. And for the SPY S&P 500, for instance, you get all of these great stocks for only $417 per share based on this weighted percentage.